in Soviet Russia, chips eat you. Well, that'd be the first thing to eat me all year. Cool. In Soviet Russia, chips eat you. Boy, oh, this America! I eat chips. Soviet rocket giraffe, go, 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 go. I wish I had been recording the first time he played this game because he was not ready for this. I, quite honestly, had just always seen the name and went, meh, that sounds boring. And then the giraffe super extendo neck went off. <laughs> and I'm going, ah, I was not expecting this in the slightest. <laughs> he sits down, he boots it up, and just like, Okay, he like lost right away. He was not expecting it. I will say this: Slope Skier did it better. Soviet rocket giraffe is a concept behind the idea that Soviet Russia is testing a rocket giraffe with an extendable neck of infinite length, and you blast through the wall of your testing facility and have to grind off of slopes as things explode in the background and helicopters fly by and chaos ensues. <laughs> I think it was a really weird way to have a giraffe head be the thing was played as. I'm not gonna complaining. guess that was like a game two uh, developers got super drunk and went, hey, what if we used a giraffe? But it ends up flowing so smoothly. You have to alternate between jumping over the gaps and pressing down to grind along the uh, surfaces to both pick up speed and charge extra jumps. Because Which I didn't realize existed until like third, fourth run. Yes, you could use the rockets to jump in the air. He didn't realize this until I told him. I was doing pretty well without it, honestly. Usually you don't need it. It's just a way to save yourself because sometimes you'll be moving too fast and you'll go straight between some jumps. Reed, when it gives you this jump and you actually jumped proper and you could almost get to the jump after that with one jump, then you double jump to save yourself, and you're going over that one too, and you're going, oh, no, 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 no. That turns into a tense situation, but it feels so good when then you let uh, land, grind just long enough to build up an extra jump, take your jump, land again, grind enough for a second jump, then use your one of your two mid-air jumps to get to the next platform and start grinding again, and you pull it back from the brink like that. Yeah, that definitely happened once or twice. Well, it happens for me, and it feels amazing. The problem is, despite being able to do that, I've never made above two and a half, three stars. Yeah, I think I got to three, maybe. I don't know how the stars are graded. Are they distance? Are they how well you jumped? Are they airtime? I don't understand the star system at all. Also, while I'm complaining, the screen's too chaotic sometimes. There is too much stuff blowing up, too many distractions. We didn't have too much of a problem with that, but then again, I guess one could say that's pretty much the challenge once you hit certain speed. I felt like the speed itself was a challenge because once you hit that speed, you were just jumping gaps and you'd go right in between if you weren't ready. But then you're gonna stay at that speed. I feel like it got more chaotic as the game went. That's true, but even then, I don't know, I felt like the chaos was a bit too chaotic. Probably, but then again, it was designed for kids with the protection span of a goldfish. Touché. Overall, I'd say it's a lot of fun. The problem is there's not a lot going on. So once you've done two or three runs, you know what you're doing by that point, and there's no real reason to continue. Unless you're trying to get a five star, at which point... Good luck. It's... Purely skilled, there's no upgrades or anything, which means I don't enjoy it quite as much. They definitely feel like there's a reward for real progress. Like if they had any kind of upgrade system, like... Or uh, even just an incremental rewards. Yeah, like you made it this distance, you fall slower now, or you build grind faster, or... Just something that rewarded how much you completed. Yeah. But then we would want an end goal, and I feel like the game doesn't have an end goal. Or maybe it does. I don't know. 
maybe something good happens if you get five stars? Besides just, hey, a giraffe died today. Overall, we're a little unsure what to say about it. It's definitely an interesting concept, but... If the idea of a giraffe shooting off with rocket power while it grinds along its neck that infinitely extends sounds funny to you, which it probably does, and you're bored and have nothing else to do for, say, 15, 20 minutes, definitely give it a look. But I can't say it's something to log in just to play. Nah. No.